Of course. It's a big football town. Yeah, it's different with you. Crazy. In fact, I, I wrote, I read a book, a history book, not uh, some years ago. It was published in 1790 or 1895, and one of the guys was complaining about a crazy guy that would walk around Jackson Square all the time. So they've been around forever. Anyway, um, this drum starts to draw curious white people to the back of town. They hear the drums get curious about it. On a typical Sunday, there might be as many as five to six hundred people here. Whites, free people of color, and slaves. And there is nowhere else in the United States where these classes were mingling but right here. In the back of the square where that building is, there was a market set up that was mostly operated by free people of color. There would have also been some slaves selling handmade food and crafts there as well. Uh, one of the folks was a... and fried shrimp.
Eagle, Louisiana. Did y'all know that? It is. See how good our politicians are? All they did was take that word gambling, change the spelling up a little bit. Got us all these casinos in a state that gambling is illegal. But when you come to Louisiana, you're not gambling, you're gaming. G-A-M-I-N-G. Straight ahead of us at the end of Canal Street, that big right about four miles. There's a streetcar over there on the neutral ground. Y'all catch it on Canal Street. In front of it says City Park Museum. Might see something you might want to come back out here and see. Catch it on Canal Street. Here to the left, this brick and concrete foundation to the left. That's where they removed one of the statues. And I refer to that statue because the right front hook is up on the horse. That meant the rider died the right way, the natural way. That's where PGT Beauregard was. And he took him down from there, but they're going to put him back up at Greenwood Cemetery at the end of Canal Street. Voodoo is how to spell it. The streetcar running up and down on the neutral ground to the left. It's the longest and oldest operating streetcar line in the United States. Originally steam powered, then pulled by mule, then electrified. Heated and cooled by Mother Nature. Too hot you open the window, too cold you close it. The brand name on the streetcar is Perilous. They're sitting on the same piece of property. They're identical to each other here to the left. The, the house on the corner applied for a permit to add on to the house. They were denied. They applied for another permit to build another house. They said, okay, as long as it looks like the one that's already there. Coming up here on the left, the largest home on St. Charles Avenue. I've never been in that house, y'all, but I know people that have been in there, and they say the furnishings in that house go back to that era. They make a lot of movies inside the house and on the grounds of the property. They have a company here called Hollywood South. Coming up in the next block over here on the left, Sacred Heart Academy, Sacre Coeur, all-girls Catholic school, kindergarten to 12th grade. It's a beautiful school here to the left. See all these bumpy streets, y'all? These are the ones, the streets that they fixed. Anybody been here for Mardi Gras? Come on, Lake Charles. Y'all yeah. been here for Mardi Gras? Yeah. All right. Now you can tell them how much of a good time it is, because nobody comes. Why didn't everybody else come? I got, and on the weekends prior to Mardi Gras, which is the carnival season, we have they have canopies on these neutral grounds, barbecue pits, kids riding their bikes, throwing frisbees, music playing, throwing footballs, laying on those tracks, playing with their iPads and their tablets. Big party. Somebody asked me if the people on Bourbon Street can come over here. I said, no, they can't walk this far. They're too drunk. Leave them in there. And you can get with the wild and crazy and go on Bourbon Street. Get in the middle of that crowd, pick your feet up, you'll never hit the ground. But all they do is walk back and forth seven blocks. Get off of Bourbon Street, and it's not bad. But you come to Bourbon Street, y'all bring your camera, have your phone fully charged, because you're going to see something. You're going to go back home and tell them about it. They're not going to believe you. So <laughs> take a picture. And in the area where the school is, we had three to four feet of water. And their, their band room is located on the ground floor of the school, and that brackish water got in there. You could just about imagine what it did to those musical instruments. She gave them money to get all that started up again. And they invited everything. She showed up, I think it was three years ago, for the high school graduation. She adopted a little boy from here. She calls him Louie, and recently adopted a little girl, and her name is Layla. Story behind the Cornstalk fence here to the left. The gentleman wanted to move to the city. The wife wanted to stay in the cornfields at home. So he built her a corn farm and also redid a couple of those landing craft. That boat was called the Higgins Boat. Over here to the left, Ogden Museum featuring Southern Art. And again to the left, the Civil War Museum. And over here to the right, the Contemporary Art Center. Anybody have any questions?
This is our warehouse district in here. You know, Julia Street coming up. <clears throat> this is green light. Had a lot of galleries on Julia Street. And we have a party on Julia Street once a year. It's called the White Linen Party. Follow on Saturday, you go to the Dirty Linen Party in the French Quarter. Whatever you had on, whatever you wore, wear it to that party. St. Patrick's Church coming up here on the right. Now this could, now we on the American side of Canal Street, y'all, that could have been St. Patrick's Church, could have been like their cathedral on this side of Canal Street. And the next block coming up there on the left, Lafayette Square, Henry, Henry Clay, Ben Franklin, John. Uh, <laughs> All right, you know what, the best part about my job is whenever I let you down like I truly have, I can just make it up to you by bringing more beautiful performers back to the stage area. Would you guys like to see some more burlesque? That's the spirit moved by the spirit of burlesque in this house tonight. All right. I'm going to bring this next performer back out to the stage. She opened up our show tonight. She is the producer of the show and the headmistress of the New Orleans School of Burlesque. I want you to give it up for her one more time, the illustrious Bella Blue.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New York Security Airport. The local time is 6.40. We will be taxiing for the next few minutes. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and all items stowed until the seatbelt sign is turned off. Please make sure you have all of your personal belongings before you exit the aircraft and be careful in opening the overhead compartment. You're now free to use your mobile phones and small lightweight devices and on behalf of United, our Star Alliance partners, and your entire flight crew, thank you for flying the friendly skies with us today. Hope you've had a pleasant experience. We look forward to welcoming you again on another United flight.